Before you sell or give away your old MacBook Pro, you'll want to make sure you aren't giving away access to your iCloud account and other data in the process. Today I'm going to show you how to wipe and reset your Mac on how to do it all. Look at this old MacBook. It's from all the way back in 2015. It's still got some life left in it, but now I've got this brand new MacBook Pro to replace it. But there are a few things I need to do before I pass this along to its new owner, or before it meets its maker. Before you get ready to say goodbye to your MacBook forever, make sure you have a copy of any data you want to keep. You can either back it up, Time Machine works great for that, or if you've got a new computer, you can move the data directly from the old one to the new one. I actually made a video showing you how to do just that, and I'll put the link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified while you're there, or while you're here for that matter. No matter who the new owner of the MacBook's going to be, it's a good idea to remove any traces of your iCloud account from the machine. In the olden days, you could use iTunes to do this. But since iTunes no longer exists, you can now use the Music, TV, or Books app to sign out. On any of those apps, go to the Account menu, select Authorizations, and then Deauthorize this computer. You'll need to enter your Apple ID and password, and then hit the Deauthorize button. Next, you'll need to turn off Find My Mac and sign out of iCloud. Go to System Preferences, Apple ID, Click iCloud in the left panel, and then uncheck Find My Mac. Enter your password again to confirm. Next, click Overview from the left panel, and then click the Sign Out button. Lastly, don't forget to sign out of Messages. Open the Messages app, go to Messages, Preferences, click the iMessage tab, and then click Sign Out. If your MacBook is staying in your house, maybe getting handed down to one of your kids, you're probably going to want to unpair any Bluetooth devices you have connected to it. Especially if you've got a new Mac. You don't want the mouse and keyboard for the new one interfering with the old one. Go to System Preferences, then Bluetooth, mouse over the device you want to unpair, click the X button to the right of its name, and then click Remove. Might as well go ahead and disconnect your Bluetooth earbuds or headphones as well, if you haven't already. This is it. After we reset your Mac, it will forget you ever existed. You need to put your MacBook into recovery mode in order to erase all your data and reinstall macOS. To do that, restart your Mac and immediately press and hold Command-R. You can release the keys when you see the Apple logo. When you see the macOS Utilities window, Choose Disk Utility, click Continue, and then select your startup disk. Unless you renamed it, odds are it's named Macintosh HD or something similar. Next, click the Erase button at the top of the window and fill out these fields. Choose a name for the fresh new volume. Nothing beats a classic like Macintosh HD. Choose how the drive will be formatted. Newer MacBooks with solid state drives will have these options. Pick the top one. Finally, click Erase Volume Group or just erase if that's what you have. Disk Utility will do what it does, and when it's done, quit the program. You should return to the Mac OS Utilities window. If not, restart your Mac again, holding down Command-R while it reboots like you did before. From here, select Reinstall Mac OS, and follow the instructions to install the operating system. When that's finished, you'll be greeted by the Setup Assistant, which you can quit out of and shut down your Mac. And now you can give your old friend a kiss goodbye and send them on their way. Need some more help with your Mac? Either your new one or your old one? We've got videos on how to clean your laptop, set up Touch ID, use the touch bar, and a whole lot more here on how to do it all. <laughs>